Okay, now we will take up on to income from house property. <coughs> See, I will, I am just taking your level of knowledge and then I am trying out. Uh, see, Ganeshari would be knowing as what is order I am going to take it up. Because he had attended the last batch. Uh, even before the results came, I have asked him to come and uh, attend to the class. <coughs> So, therefore, he would know what is the um, stages at which we will take it up. Okay. So, therefore, it is very easy topic. And once you gain that confidence, you know that the house property is only this much. Then, that the confidence will push you to the next and so on. What is your name? Swati. Swati. You know Tamil? Okay. So, sometimes, I will slip it out uh, in Tamil. So, uh, very consciously I will speak only in English, but um, at times we will, uh, in a flow we will talk it in Tamil. So, not the, uh, and I will take it in Tamil. So, income from house property. What is this? In computer and all that you see. In some uh, website and all that, they just put like this. What is this? Home. Home page. Correct, no? Is it home page? So, the symbol icon for home is this. Correct or incorrect? Am I telling uh, truth or uh, uh, I am forcing something on you? You people know. This is home page. Okay. Income from house property or income from home property. Which is right. Kamal, house property, okay. What is the difference between home and house? General English, okay. No income tax uh, act that I would be referring. You can live alone also, live together also, correct. Then I got it right. So, what is that she said? Home is a place where people live. House is only a building. Therefore, income from house property would mean the income need not result only by letting it out to people living. Income arising by letting it out for commercial purposes also will come under income from house property. People might understand that income from house property means uh, it should be an income arising only by letting the house for residential purpose only. People might misunderstand. So, the misunderstanding I wanted to remove at the very first place. So, it is not home property, it is house property. So, therefore, there can be two purposes that they can have. What are the two purposes? Residential. Here one is commercial. Don't make any note right now. Residential and commercial. Then the other one is so we will put it this way. In short I will there is in one letter that is in one word I can put it this way. What is this? Solo. What do you mean by solo? Solo means self only, no? Solo means single. Here it has got a different meaning. I don't, you should not take it up as a word. It is split of abbreviation only. SO stands for self occupied. LO stands for let out. What is that? Self occupy, self occupy. The other one is let out. So, under income from house property, if it is residential property and when it is self occupied, then it will be taken under income from house property. Correct. If it is residential and let out, then also it will be taken under income from house property. If it is let out for commercial purpose, then also it will come under 
income from house property but i am just uh, using a different order because this is the last one where if it is used for commercial purpose and when it is occupied by himself for his business or profession then it will not be taken under income from house property then it will be taken under profits and gain from business or profession the point which i wanted to tell you is that income arising from building land and building even land is also to be taken up as part of this income from house property only that not only land building alongside of the land on which rental is collected then it will be taken under income from house property so i will just give an example why land is also included so you have 1000 square feet house let us assume you are putting up an advertisement you are not giving the rental value by yourself as a owner you are putting up an advertisement in tinagar krishna swami street 1000 square feet property you got the rent the person will not be in a position to answer to the question but you provide some more details 1000 square feet property no car parking is one you have two car parking facilities available so which one will fetch more rent naturally therefore rent is not for the property alone but also for the other facilities associated with the property that is why we say building and with land appurtenant there too are you understanding all of you so income from house property should not be misunderstood that it is income only from the building so even land is also to be taken into consideration because rental value is not only uh, is not only for the land but also sorry not only for the building but also for the land are you understanding all of you so what are the very important things that you should expect in the case of income from house property number 1 property should be there not only land what do you mean by that it should have building number 2 as a c should be the what is that should be the owner that condition is there three income should be there what is it income should be there number 4 not to be used for assessees business or profession these are the four important conditions that you have to take up an income under income from house property are you understanding all of you so what are the four conditions that you have come on so immediately that uh, diagram you should remember what is that property should be there property should be there two assessee should be the owner three income should be there four should not be used for assessee's business or profession if the tenant is using for business or profession it is to be taken under income from house property only are you understanding all of you say sir no right come on can you make note of this i will discuss that is a point i have in my mind <laughs> so that means you started thinking that's good but i will open up the suspense a little later okay see when i am occupying for my own residential purposes how there could be income here is a place where i would like to visit what is it we have just noted down at a stage income means net and all that do you remember that features of income say i am not uh, uh, there is given you all information regarding what is an income 
correct income can be on cash basis or it can be on accrual basis then income may also be in the negative income may also be in the negative so when you say profit it includes negative profit also how can i have negative income when i occupy my own house property say a property can be constructed out of my money or with borrowed money or mix of these two when i have taken borrowing what is that i should do i have to pay my emi equated monthly installments installments will have a net principal as well as interest so when there is no income that i report but expenditure alone i have therefore interest on house property loan that i pay shall be adjusted against no income therefore my net income will be in the negative correct when i say income you should not understand that it should always be positive even though you are positive having positive thoughts but for income tax you should also give scope for income means it can also be in the negative so in this place i got to include for the two new points i have included today it could be on cash basis or on accrual basis income can be positive as well as negative so therefore at the appropriate time only we wanted to take it up for discussion so that it goes into our mind very firmly that is the reason as why we should not learn all the points and try to memorize that is not the objective that we have we have to have a very gradual way of learning shall i proceed so are you understanding that uh, self occupy residential can also be taken up under income from house property your expectation is correct there is no income rental income that i charge myself but i got the effect payment towards interest on housing loan is there any limits that we have any amount of interest can we claim all that we will be discussing now correct shall we proceed it is a very simple topic in one hours time we will finish off the entire uh, provisions that we have so without uh, burdening ourselves as what is the section number and all that we we'll learn the section number a little later when we talk about uh, the income it is only net wherever we are just talking about it is always a net then when i say net there should at least be two things to call a net we will not just say gross gross means when you are adding net means there will be one item that you will be having positive there is another item that you got to adjust only then it is net <clears throat> so what are the items that you have got to take up so what are the components that you have got to identify so components in in income from house property components one is rental income this is one component then you have municipal taxes you have repairs renewals etc you have something called as interest on housing loan or you so friend then hmm principal of house no that will not come under income from house property because there is becomes a capital so these are the components there are uh, some more uh, that we will be talking about hmm so rental income see here is a place where we need to know whether rental income is actual or notional any idea about that where it is whether it is uh, actual or notional actual 
answer is it could be actual as well as optional. We will discuss that a little later. For this, we will take it up. Next, what is this municipal tax? Is that to be deducted on paid basis or on payable basis? See now, having made a discussion like this, once again when you go back to what is the features of uh, income, I told you cash basis, accrual basis, where positive, negative and all that. Now I got to try one thing. Sometimes income may be taken up on unnational basis. So therefore, income definition cannot be cannot be limited only to five points and six points. As we graduate ourselves, so that number of features that we have to write will be tons, not a few points. So therefore, when you read at the very first stage itself, it may not give you proper sense. Therefore, I don't want to go by a textbook like uh, discussion. Come on. Municipal taxes, whether it is on paid basis or on payable basis. Paid basis. Correct. Why? It is on paid basis. Any logic that you can provide for why it is on paid basis. Tell some logic. Ganeshari. Municipal taxes. Who will collect the tax? Local authorities only. Local authorities are uh, driven by central government or state government? State government. Central government and state government. Are they in good relation or always fighting? Yes or no? If there is a fight, then are they living in harmony or in not disharmony? Come on. If there is a fight, can you say that they are living in harmony or disharmony? So one important thing that you should learn is that when there is a fight, immediately you should not understand that there is a there is no harmony and all that. My dad and mom will fight. For some small purpose to big purpose they will fight. Fight in a sense there will be some statement he will make and she will not like. Whenever my dad is making any reference about uh, brothers of my mom, that is my uncle, she will tell, oh, scold me, not my brother. Oh, your family is like that. Some reference. My mom will be just, no, what about your brothers and sisters? <laughs> See, I am 50. They married 51 years back. So, when there were to be fights, can you say that they are living in disharmony? No. So, fight is, say, when there is no fight, there is no, what should I say, thrill in life. Okay, no, with brothers we will fight. Could be buddy Sanda. So we'll fight, we'll throw this, that, and all that. There will be a loss of uh, property also. Most of the property that will be lost is uh, this uh, remote. <laughs> Just see, mm -hmm. she had a lot of fight, it seems. Mm. Accuracy level will be tested based on uh, remote only. Say, right. What I'm trying to say is that. The local authorities uh, and uh, please always understand brothers, sisters, they would have fought in their family before marriage. It was petty issues and all that. But what is happening to after the marriage, the girl is fighting not for herself but for her family. For any insult on her family, she will just protect. Between them, there will be fighting. Between central government and state government, there will be a fight. But, when there is a fight between an outsider, these two people will join together. Correct? Yes or no? 
Brothers, sisters, they will fight like uh, India and Pakistan. But when it comes for a fight with an outsider, they will be united. Correct or incorrect? One more incidence also I will tell. When I was doing my article chip, I committed one mistake in my client's place. And uh, shown my working saying the client's accountant is wrong. Hey, see, you have done a mistake. That person said, check twice, thrice. And he said, in which school you studied? Who was your match teacher? So, I can make fun of my teacher, but I will not allow others to make fun of my teacher. This is the attitude anybody will be having. I will make fun with my school. But if somebody is telling bad about my school, I will not uh, allow. Correct now? Likewise, the central government and state government will always be fighting. But with the taxpayer, these two people will be united. What they will tell is that you pay to municipal tax and clip. I may have personal grudge with the state government, with Jailalda, I will have personal grudge. Modi will be telling like that because she is not join, allowing us to join in their alliance to get few MLAs. So that any uh, Rajya Sabha bill I can easily pass. GST she is putting in a lot of conditions now. So today's the newspaper is like that only. So in that they have just put, if Modi is making a call to Jailalita, she may budge. So therefore, central government and state government, they will be united when it comes for taxation on citizens. What they will do is that the central government will act as a big brother. Small brother is state government. So citizens, when they are paying to the state government, automatically the central government is very happy. Are you telling, are you understanding that? So, if you pray to deity number A, there are many deities that you have. So, I just personally believe that there is only one God. But people just believe there are a lot. Pray on saint also. If you do like that, the other person is very happy. If you pay to the municipal tax person, the central government is very happy. Therefore, municipal taxes is to be allowed only when it is on paid basis. If you say that you will pay, they will not allow you to deduct. If you say that you have already paid, then they will allow. Are you understanding all of you? This is what you should understand. You should not have second doubt on that. That is the reason is why other parts I just taken up to convince this point. The next important point is that should that be related to that particular previous year only? Should that be related only to that previous year? See, there are chances that my municipal taxes, what I pay, would be not only to that previous year, earlier previous years also I will be paying. What had happened to this particular property is that when we bought seven years back, the owner had a lot of arrears of six years earlier to that. So after our paying, there was no arrears. Now he is sending a notice. Sir, first six years we are not paid. Sir, first six years we are not the owner, sir. So what the local authority will be? The tender I do not know. Against this property only I am collecting, not from the owner. Then what is that we will do? Owner we have got to trace. That person seven years before I sold. Now you are asking, sir, in the document they have put everything clear, sir. Any areas I will only take care is what you have put. Conditions there. Then he produced all this uh, documents that he had paid. Then how come the organization is asking, Sir, give me the receipt, I will show. What had happened? I have produced all the documents, Sir. This person is scratching his head saying that, We have forgotten to take these into my computer records. Therefore, computer is saying that it is all arrears. Are you understanding? If I am just having the lazy feeling to trace the owner and if I thought I will pay, then I will be the fool. Imagine that I am also a fool there and affected payment. Not related to the current uh, previous year, but related to the earlier years. Imagine that he had not paid. Let us assume that way also. Can I 
claim that as a deduction. Are you understanding my question? Should the municipal tax relate to that particular relevant previous year? Can that be related to earlier previous years also? I have given you an occasion. Come on, tell me. Can I claim? Say, yes, sir, no. The answer to the question is that yes, need not relate to, relate to that previous year. Need not relate to that previous year. Would, would mean, what do you say? You should understand. It may include current previous year also, earlier previous years also. Need not relate to that previous year. Even arrears may be taken. What is that? Arrears may be taken. Even arrears may also be Are you understanding all of you? Repairs and renewals, etc. etc. means like insurance, etc. Hmm. What is that we will be taking up? Are you clear about the concept? So, and one more important thing is that should be paid by the owner. Should be Paid by the owner. That is also a very important matter. When we say it should be paid by the owner, who else will pay? Tenant can also pay. So what the uh, owner can always impose in the property is premium property. Just imagine that you have got uh, a good employment. Very close by you have one house. You have just gone for a visit. And there are other visitors that are also there. You don't want other visitors to take charge on that particular thing. So you are going to the owner. Sir, please just from where I will pay the rent. The owner is just making a point. Others are also paying. What is the great thing that I should only give it to you? What else, what else you can tell? Instead of saying that you will be paying on 1st of every month, you say 31st of the last month or the previous month. Even the other tenant also is agreeing to pay one day in advance, no big deal. See now the owner is putting on condition. So you are asking, so what else I should do to give this property to me for a rental? Because the employment is very good. I don't have to just uh, float on the road. I can walk to your office. So the owner is telling, I have uh, house property tax to be paid and all that. It comes to 24,000 rupees per annum. Then water tax, etc., and all that, uh, another uh, 12,000 rupees we have to pay. What is that you would be telling? Sir, I will pay 36,000, I will occupy. Correct, no? It's a good deal as far as the owner is concerned. If the department were to know that municipal taxes were paid by the tenant and not by the owner, then it will not be claimed as reduction at all. So therefore, even if you say as paid, it should be paid by the owner. So, should be paid by the owner. Are you clear about this? Then, how about the next point? Repair, renewals, etc. Huh? Paid basis. Ignore. Paid or payable, please ignore. Because department is providing something called as statutory deduction. What is that? Statutory deduction on notional basis at the rate of 30 percentage. What is that? At the rate of 30 percentage at the rate of 30 percentage on 
the net annual value on the net annual value so statutory deduction on notional basis at the rate of 30 percentage on the net annual value given what do you mean by notional basis whether it is actually spent or not they are providing you the deduction in one year i would not have paid at all i would not have expended then also 30 percentage is allowed in one year i paid 60 percentage of my rental income only for repairs then also i am provided with 30 percentage so only on notional basis it is to be done are you understanding all of you ah see repairs see this is the point i wanted to tell you in a problem they may tell repairs so much of expenditure made and uh, earlier years repairs also you will be making so it becomes very difficult for the department to know where is repair carried out in that particular year two years repairs you will be paying now so it becomes administratively very difficult for the department to monitor all this therefore what is that they say 30 percentage of your net annual value shall be allowed as a deduction so whether you actually spend or not that deduction they are providing